1967, the Kerner Commission released a report on the causes of the 1967 race riots. In 1967, America had more than 100 race riots. This is before they murdered Dr. King. This is before they murdered Dr. King. America had more than 100 race riots. Lyndon Baines Johnson put together a commission to study the causes of the race riots. That commission published a report called the Kerner Commission. You need to read it. Everybody go to Barnes and Noble. Go because the black bookstores don't have it. Go to Barnes and Noble and get you a copy of the Kerner Com Black bookstores, make sure you order a couple copies of the Kerner Commission. All black bookstores, you are being given an order by the Minister of Education of the African Race, Ifa Tunde Oguntade. All black bookstores, you are being given an order from your Minister of Education, Dr. Ifa Tunde Oguntade. You must order 12 copies of the Kerner Commission because I want every black person in America to order the Kerner Commission and read it. Do you know what the two biggest recommendations in the Kerner Commission was? Do you know what the two biggest Do you know what the two biggest recommendations in the Kerner Commission was? Reverend Al Sharpton started a live feed. Okay. Okay. We might need a Dr. Umar Al Sharpton debate. You know what? If Al Sharpton is running around caping for Kamala, I might challenge him to a debate. I might have to challenge Reverend Al Sharpton to a debate. What do y'all think about that, brothers and sisters? What do y'all think about the Reverend Al Sharpton going head to head with the King Kong of consciousness on whether or not the Democratic Party is a friend of black America. What do y'all think about an Al Sharpton, Dr. Umar debate? Would that break the airwaves? Would that break YouTube? Would that break Instagram, Twitter, HBO, BET, CBS, Fox? What do y'all think about an Ifa Tunde versus Al Sharpton? Is the Democratic Party the friend of black America. What do y'all think about that? Al Sharpton, I know you like money, my elder. Al Sharpton, I know you like money. You make about $3 million a year off the people. How about we go head to head? How about we go head to head? And I'm gonna talk about your eight years of meeting with President Obama and you didn't get one thing for black America. Al Sharpton, my first question to you, you met with the President of the United States more than any other black leader, put that in quotes, any other black leader, put that in quotes, you met with the President of the United States more than any black leader ever met with a president. Did y'all know Al Sharpton met with Barack Obama more than Dr. King met with Kennedy and Lyndon Baines Johnson put together? Did y'all know Al Sharpton met with President Barack Obama more times than Dr. King met with President Kennedy and Lyndon Baines Johnson put together? Dr. King came back with a Voting Rights Act. Dr. King came back with a civil rights bill. What did Al Sharpton come back with from Barack Obama? Dr. King came back with a civil rights bill. Dr. King came back with a voting rights act. What did Al Sharpton come back with? No, y'all want me to debate struggle streamers. If you want me to debate a YouTube and struggle streamer, that's going to be $30,000. You will not reduce me. I am a man with credentials. I am a scholar. I have done research. I have six degrees. I'm the most requested, the most revered, the most loved, and the most hated black scholar on the planet. You will not reduce me to a debate with a struggle streamer. If you want me to debate a YouTubian struggle streamer, that will cost you $30,000. Half of that money will go to the FDMG Academy. Half of that money will go to fund my other projects. I'll debate anybody you want if you got $30,000. You will not reduce me to a struggle streamer. Ah, woo. Ah, woo. So, 
the Kerner Commission of 1967. The Kerner Commission of 1967 gave the President of the United States two major recommendations. Two major recommendations. Do you know what they recommended? What were the two major recommendations of the 1967 Kerner Commission? Jobs, better jobs and better schools. Did y'all hear what I just said? Better jobs, better schools. A third one was better justice. Schools, jobs, and justice. What are the three biggest problems in black America right now? Schools, jobs, and justice. 1967. We still got the same problems. 77, 87, 97, 07, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2. That's 55, 3, 4. 57 years later. 57 years later, you still got the same problems that the Kerner Commission told Lyndon Baines Johnson to fix. He said, if you want to fix black America, they need better jobs, better schools and better justice, better criminal justice, better constitutional justice, better procedural. And y'all want to vote again. 14 elections since the Kerner Commission. And y'all want to keep on voting. Go ahead. I will never tell you not to vote. I will never tell you not to vote. I wouldn't do that. I would never tell you not to vote. But the definition of insanity, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing over and over. Melanin drip. The sun is shining right on me. I say, let me get the third eye activation. You got to blink at the sun a few times to get your third eye activation. Melanin drip. What's my complexion, ladies? I'm talking to the Ifa Tunde Queendom. Brothers, if you answer the question, you will be blocked. Brothers, if you act, answer the question, you will be blocked because brothers shouldn't be uh, determining what another brother's complexion is. Ladies, what is my complexion? Am I dark cinnamon? Am I light chocolate? Am I dark walnut? Ladies, what complexion is mine? My melanin drip is what complexion, ladies? I'm talking to the queens right now. What is my complexion, ladies? What's my complexion, ladies? I'm talking to the queen. Well, what is Dr. Umar's complexion under the sun? Talk to me, queen. What, what is, that? is that? Is that dark cinnamon? Is that light chocolate? Talk to me, ladies. Ain't no sisters giving me no complex spicy chocolate. I like that. She says spicy chocolate. The spicy is a little beta male. I don't like that word spike. Milky smooth, milky smooth chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to take my milky smooth spicy chocolate and let me marry it to your butter almond. Let me marry it to your butterscotch. Let me marry it to your warm peanut butter. Let me marry it to your sweet brown sugar. Let me marry it to your dark brown sugar. Let me marry it to your sunflower honey complex. That honeycomb complex. The honeycomb colors. The cherry wood sisters. Oh, yes. The African vanilla queens. Oh, yes. Let us focus, brothers and sisters. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash. We're gonna have at we're gonna have the conscious singles convention is coming, brothers and sisters. I hope some of my London family could come to the conscious singles convention. I hope some of my continental African family can come. Pecan cut. Oh, candy pecan. Woo! Ain't nothing like a candy pecan sister. Lord have mercy. With extra curves. I get my cheese steak. They say, what you want on your cheese steak? I need. Mushrooms, sweet peppers, fried onions on my cheesesteak, Philly cheesesteak, mushrooms, sweet peppers, 
Fry Detroit. Do y'all have a Philly cheesesteak spot in Detroit? Where the, where the Detroit cheesesteaks at? Who make the best cheesesteaks in Detroit? Flint, Highland Park, Inkster, Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti. Who got the best cheesesteaks up here, Detroit family? Michigan family, who got the best cheesesteaks? I, I never had a cheesesteak in Michigan. I never had a cheesesteak in Michigan. Who got? But when I order my cheesesteak in Philly, I get fried onions, mushrooms, sweet peppers, extra mayo, ketchup, and just a dash. Just a dash of pepper. That's how I order my cheesesteak. Extra mayo, ketchup, fried onions, sweet peppers, mushrooms, and just a dash of pepper. Now, when I order my queens, I'm just joking, ladies. I'm just joking. But when I order my queen, I'm just joking, ladies. I need, I need a nice cinnamon or chocolate or butter pecan or butterscotch or peanut butter or African vanilla queen with extra nappy hair, extra curves. Let me stop. Stay focused, family. Stay focused, family. Extra curves. Stay focused, family. Stay focused. We losing focus. We losing for brothers. Uh, extra cinnamon with extra curves and extra natural hair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Extra cinnamon with extra curves. Extra butterscotch with extra curves. Extra fudge with extra curves. Extra African lemonade with extra curves. This is Black August, and I'm the king of Black August. I might be the prince of Pan-Africanism, but I'm the king of Black August. Who coming to Nat Turner land August the 21st? Who coming to Nat Turner land August the 21st? Extra melanin, extra curve. Who coming to? No, but I love the queens of all complexion. It don't make a difference to me. She could be lemonade. She could be African vanilla. She could be a mixed race African queen. Sometimes you want a scoop of chocolate in a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Sometimes you want a scoop of chocolate in a scoop of vanilla on your on your Sunday. Your, 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 your banana boat. Sometimes you need a scoop of chocolate and a scoop of lemonade on that banana boat. I take every flavor. I love all the African queens from the mixed race to the most mixed race queen to the darkest, deepest, chocolatiest. African queen out there. I love them all, sisters. From the lightest mixed race queen to the darkest chocolate, give me all of them. Just give me a buffet. Can I please have a buffet of African queen flavors? There we go. Just give me a buffet. Give me a sample. I want to go to an all you can eat with African flavors of the. Oh, Lord. I want to go to a buffet. Can we do an all you can eat? African Queendom buffet for the Prince of Pan African. I wanted the lemon cookies and the and, 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 and the butterscotch cookies, the almond cookies, the caramel cookies, the nutmeg, the brown sugar. Ladies, we must stay focused, ladies. We must stay focused, ladies. We must, we must. This is Black August. We have to organize the community. We must stay focused. You called me out your out my name, so I gotta block you, my brother. I got to block you. Mm. Who coming out today? Who coming out to Eastern Michigan University today? Who going to be there at 3 o'clock today? Who going to be at the Honors College on the campus of Eastern Michigan University today at 3 o'clock? Who's coming today? Grand Rapids, are you coming today? Kalamazoo, are you coming today? Big Rapids, are you coming today? Bitten Harbor, are you coming today? Kalamazoo, Detroit Africans, are you pulling up in Ypsilanti today at 3 o'clock? We're going to be there until 7. Three, 3 until 7. Come get a book. Come get a pick. Come ask a question. Come listen to the message. Come get a book. Come get a pick. Come ask the question. You said you want to, can we stay focused and still eat? No. <laughs> we got to build, brothers. We got to build for the queens. The black woman is too valuable. The black woman is too valuable. The black woman is too valuable to be disseminating 
her gifts to black men who do not earn them. I'm going to say it again, brothers. I know you don't want to hear this, my African kings. I know you don't want to hear this, my African kings, but I got to say it. The black woman is too valuable. What is between her legs and what is between her breasts, I mean her heart. What is between her legs and what is between her breasts, I mean her heart. What is between her legs and what is between her breasts, I mean her heart, is too valuable. It is too sacred to be given to black men who don't deserve it and don't value it. There is no price you can put on the black woman's heart. There is no price you can put on the black woman's yoni-verse. Because the black woman's yoni-verse is the greatest gift a black man can have in this universe. After the grace of the Almighty, after the grace of the Almighty himself, the greatest gift a black man can have in the universe is a black woman's yoni-verse. And we have to earn that, my brothers, by building up the community. Now, when I speak in support of my sisters, weak black men like to name call. And this is what I'm going to say to you. It ain't my fault that you are suffering from no yoni withdrawal. Some of y'all hate black women because you've never been blessed with the pearls of the universe. That's not my fault. If you stop worrying about me, stop worrying about other black men, stop competing and comparing yourself to other black men and step your game up politically, step your game up spiritually. Reinvent your African manhood. Reinvent yourself. And one of my beautiful African sisters, if you act right and treat her like the goddess she is, you might get blessed with a pearl or two. She might let you swim in the ocean and find you a pearl or two. You might come out of them waters with a diamond or two. But you ninjas can't even get near the ocean. She won't even let you put your toes in the water. She won't even let you put your fingers in the water. She won't even let you put your face in the water. Brothers and sisters, the most important thing we can do right now, the most important Hold them pearls for me, Kate. Hold the pearls right now, baby. I'm not, I'm not looking for no pearls right now. I'm getting ready for the conference today. Hold your pearls, my sister. Hold them pearls. Hold them now. Hold them pearls right. Keep them pearls for right now. Hold them on. Hold them. Hold the pearls for me, baby. Hold them pearls right now. Don't give them pearls to nobody. Hold them pearls for right now. Hold them pearls. Okay, hold the pearls. All right, queens, I appreciate y'all offering me some pearls. Hold them pearls. Just hold them for right now. Hold them pearls right now. Okay. But this is what I want to say in conclusion. In conclusion. Because I have to get on the radio in Cleveland. I'm going to be on News Talk 1490 Cleveland. Where are my Cleveland, Ohio Africans at? Where are my Cleveland, Ohio Africans at? Where are my Cleveland, Ohio Africans at? I'm going to be on 1490 News Talk. 1490 News Talk, I think it's AM or FM, 1490 News Talk at 1045 this morning. So I need to hop off of here. 
and then I'm going to go out and get me some lunch. Any black owned restaurants in Ypsilanti? Any black owned restaurants in Ann Arbor? Dallas, Texas, October 12th. Dallas, Texas, October 12th. News Talk Cleveland 1490. Google it. News Talk 1490 Cleveland. Here's what I want to say in conclusion. Here's what I want to say in Cleveland. Excuse me. Here's what I want to say in conclusion. Here's what I want to say in conclusion. The most important thing we can do as American Africans is not vote. It is to organize. I didn't say don't vote. Listen to what I said. The most important thing we can do is not voting. It is organizing. No presidential candidate is going to stop black on black crime. No presidential candidate is going to build industries unless we organize and force them. We got to build our own schools, our own hospitals, our own supermarkets, our own banks, our own distribution, our own manufacturing, brothers and sisters. I believe in us. I believe in my black brothers and I believe in my black sisters and I believe in the black youth and I believe in the black elders. I'm not waiting for no election. We have 14 elections since Dr. King and nobody has given us any industries. Nobody has fixed the schools. Nobody has given us justice. 14 presidential elections since 1968. What we waiting for? What are you expecting to get from the East Indian or the orange man? What are you expecting to get from the East Indian or the orange man, we must organize if we want to survive. I was at Queen Mother Harriet Tubman statue yesterday here in Ypsilanti. I went on an underground railroad tour here in Ypsilanti. Thank you to the Queen Mother who took me on the underground railroad tour. She took me to the graves of the soldiers who fought in the Civil War. Black men, U.S. colored troops. She took me to the Harriet Tubman statue. She took me to the AME church where they used to harbor our runaway Africans on the Underground Railroad. Michigan was the last stop before they crossed over to Canada. I said Michigan was the last stop before they crossed over to Canada. I said Michigan was the last stop. Sister, if you want to vote for Kamala Harris, vote for Kamala Harris. I still love you. I didn't tell you not to vote for the East Indian candidate. I just said that you're not going to get anything unless we organize our black votes into one vote. All black votes must become one vote. Until all black votes become one vote, we will never be able to hold anybody accountable. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Brothers and sisters, did you enjoy today's seminar? Was this helpful to you? Yes or no? If this was a waste of your time, be honest. Dr. Umar, you're live this morning on August the 3rd from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Was a waste of my time. Well, Dr. Umar, I really enjoyed your live. Saturday, August the 3rd, from Eastern Michigan University. Why are you acting like her father wasn't black? I talked about this on yesterday's live, my Negro P and beta male. I talked about this on yesterday's live, my Negro P and beta male. And if you follow my work, my Negro P and beta male, you would know that Dr. Umar has a two pronged test for considering who's African and who is not. Dr. Umar has a two pronged test for considering who is African and who is not. Dr. Umar has a two pronged test for considering who is African and who is not. Number one, you must be psycho, excuse me, biologically African. 
you must be biologically African. Kamala Harris is a quadroon. She has a single African grandparent. Kamala Harris is a quadroon. She has a single African grandparent. Now, many Africans would cancel her out because they don't consider quadroons to be Africans. I do consider quadroons to be biologically African. I do consider quadroons to be biologically African. I do consider quadroons to be biologically African. Okay, so she passed the first question. Now Kamala Harris has to pass the second question. The second question, do you psychologically identify as an African on a full-time basis? Does Kamala Harris psychologically identify as an African on a full-time basis? And to this question, the answer is no. I have seen her called a South Asian too many times without her ever correcting the interviewer to clarify that I am South Asian and Jamaican American. I am South Asian and Jamaican African. I am South Asian and American African. I never heard Kamala Harris correct anybody who called her South Asian or called her Indian. Never. I have no proof that her father identified as an African either. He was a mixed race East Indian African. Her father was a mixed race Jamaican East Indian African. All due respect to him. No disrespect to the man. I want to be clear. But I don't have any proof that her father ever identified unapologetically as an African. And I have no proof she ever identified on a full time basis as an African. My rules are the same. It's the same rules for Amber Rose. It's the same rules for Drake. It's the same rules for Kamala Harris. It's the same rules for you. I don't consider Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas an African. He's biologically black. But he ain't psychologically black. Clarence Thomas don't identify with us. He identifies with the white power structure. So he is not accepted as an African in my book. Ifa Tunde's Rules of Existence. I'm going to come out with a book. Soon when I finish my For Sisters Only book. Soon when I finish my For Sisters Only book, The Rules for Romance. And I'm going to go on a For Sisters Only tour. Who's coming to Dr. Umar's For Sisters Only tour? Who, where my sister's at? I need a spot in London. I need a spot in Australia. I need a spot in Paris. I need a spot in Sweden, Stockholm, Norway, Jamaica, Brazil, New York, Atlanta, Chicago, Oakland, Portland, Seattle. I'm okay, man. No, thank you. All right, now. Housekeeping, fam. I don't need no service. Nothing in there needs to be cleaned. Nothing needs to be changed because I'm on my meditation vibe. I'm not involved in any type of unholy activities. Consciousness over the cookies. Politics over the Buddha. Revolution. So, brothers and sisters. We got to get deeper. We got to get deeper. We got to get more serious, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to hop off right now because I got to get on News Talk 1490 Cleveland. I got to get on News Talk 1490 Cleveland. I got to get on News Talk 1490 Cleveland. And tomorrow at 12 noon, I will be on Philadelphia Radio, WURD 900 AM. WURD 900 a.m. Philadelphia tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in 1490 News Talk Cleveland today at 1045 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. Make sure you join my mailing list. Go to my bio on Twitter. Go to my bio on Instagram. Go to my bio on TikTok. Go to my bio on Facebook. Click on the bio. Click on mailing lists. I'm going to start sending you guys an email blast. A monthly email blast. If you're not signed up, you're not going to know what's going on with the Prince and FDMG. 
Once the school has received a certificate of occupancy, we will be holding office hours. You can start to meet with me privately. The sessions will be videotaped. Ladies, you will be videotaped. I cannot meet with any sisters privately without video because the Me Too and the Me Three and the Me Four and the Me Five movement is in full swing and some of you sisters ain't no damn good. Some of you sisters are looking for a scandal on King Kong. Y'all don't care that I'm the main one out here saving our kids. Y'all don't care I'm the only one in the conscious community building relevant institutions. Y'all don't care that I'm raising the consciousness and organizing and unifying African people. Y'all will do the slave master's bidding and y'all will try to get me on a Me Too and a Me Three. So ladies, if you come for an appointment, at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Scarvey Academy to meet with me, the sessions will be videotaped. We cannot meet without a videotape. We cannot meet, ladies, without a videotape because I gotta protect myself and some sisters, just like some brothers, ain't nothing but the devil. As grandmama would say, rest in peace. As my grandmamas would say, some black women, just like some black men, ain't nothing but the devil. Join me Tuesday, Boonell, Florida, Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center, 10, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to fly in Monday night. I'll be in Boonell, Florida, Monday night. If anybody want to get a grub, go to the restaurant, get a grub. Jacksonville, I might do Jacksonville, Boonell. We're going to go support our brother, Brendan Depper. Then I'm going to fly right back to Philly, try to get my passport. Fly right back to Philly and try to get my passport so I could be on that flight to London, England. Where my London Africans at? Where my British Africans at? Where my United Kingdom Africans at? Where my Europe Africans? I want to be with y'all. They holding up the passport. They trying to make me a political prisoner without conviction. They trying to make me a political. They doing me like they did the most honorable Marcus Garvey brothers and sisters. So I'm about to tap on out. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. If you enjoyed today's message, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. If you enjoyed today's message, hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. This is your brother, King Kong, Black August Leo season. Tomorrow is the new moon in Leo. Make sure you meditate, King Kong.